Good afternoon everyone. So this is what happens when you don't get all your gore sprayed um, last season. So uh, some of it's uh, about waist height, the bigger stuff. So it's, uh, yeah, it's not, it's definitely easy to spray when it's shorter. So this is what happens when you don't keep on top of it. Got to do along the siding, all that, down in front of me here. So this is probably some of the steeper part of the farm. It's got gorse on it. Spraying it with the tractor and the hose reel. I've sprung a bit of a leak. Got a bit of a leak on that hose there. It, I think that hose clip's rubbed a hole in it. These uh, spray units, Cropland spray units, they're good spray units, but in the last, uh, I don't know, month, I've had a broken elbow on the bottom, with a, down by the filter, and I've just had that one there get a hole in it. So I think it's just the positioning of hoses and a bit of wear and tear. We've only owned it for uh, three years, I think. So this will be our third year. So, that could spray in it. Just a few, you could say, teething problems. The spray unit could really do to have a strap put over it to hold it down in the spray unit because when I'm putting on drip grow as it gets empty it starts to bounce a bit and I think that's what caused the plastic uh, elbow to break so that's something I'm gonna fix I'm gonna put a strap over top to keep it down when it's empty um, and probably just change the position of that hose or put some protection around it so yeah so that's what I'm up to spraying gorse Ran into a nasty uh, wasp nest just up in there. I don't like wasps. The man, I, man did I run fast. <laughs> I'll venture back in there one day. So we're using a uh, on brush killer to kill the gorse. Oh, that's what I'm using. Uh, we do also use associate as well. Not at the same time, different times. This is a really nice part of the farm. We've got um, this paddock here goes all the way down and it goes right around the corner and it goes along the bottom. And then we've got this really nice native bush and you've got the tops of cowrie trees in there. And there's some kahikatea, uh, there's some rimu. Totra is this really nice piece of bush. Um, one day I'll take you for a walk and you walk up this valley and there's some really big old um, carry trees in there which are cool to look at. So yeah, that's what I'm up to for the afternoon. At least it's not too hot, we've got a bit of cloud cover. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my other videos family farming and fun and put any questions or comments below and I'll see you another time thank you bye